There's my mum with her new outdoor clothes dryer. She loves a good instruction manual. She'll be giving that a couple of read throughs. That's it, back at my parents' place. And what a place. It's not actually all theirs. Um, it's, a, it's a converted block of flat. So my parents have got the um, bottom half of this bit and this is all other people. And, but the garden is all theirs. So yeah. Um, so this is where I'll be doing my videos from now on. I don't know. And this is the flat, open plan, kitchen and living room area here. And uh, it's just me and my mum here at the moment. My dad um, has gone into a care home last week um, and he's settled down there quite nicely. So things are okay here. And um, yeah, that's it. This is my kind of office room area. Been jamming on some guitar. My external hard drive's gone wrong. So I'm having to, I've managed to connect it just, so I'm transferring it to another one there. That's gonna take all day, I think. Yeah, 12 hours left on that. So I'm just leaving that today. Oh, and little, aubergine and tomato and um, pea bake for later with some, she doesn't like me opening up the rice pot, but some, some rice mix there. Transfer is stalled. It's got all my data on. And um, it's just kaput, really. At least I'm here with power supply. If this happened on the road, I'd have to get a flat or something. Not good. It keeps stopping and then just crashing the whole computer. So I don't know. I'm going to go out for a walk. Some uh, spicy cauliflower from last night. Would you rinse that before putting it in the dishwasher? My mum says I must, but I have to stick to my principles sometimes and just say it's not going to clog up the filter. I'll still hide it at the back, but she'll turn it over, I bet you. And I'd better not leave any clues on the outside. Thank 
left. That was the place to hit it. He couldn't have done any better from being out of position there from having well played. It's the enjoyment of watching Toto happen. <clears throat> well, I just had a uh, realisation. Well, I was thinking about the future of my channel. And um, I just decided just to film whatever's going on, really. Like, I went for a walk on the common yesterday, made a video there, it just felt contrived. And um, so I'm just going to film whatever I'm doing. Um, you know, my dad's at the end of his life, um, my mates are all getting married and having kids, so I've got lots to talk about. And uh, much easier for me, creatively, just to not have to worry about actually doing anything. I can just relax and enjoy the British summer. So that's the plan. Hmm. Didn't know it was quite so long. Fish and chips tonight. My mum doesn't know I'm vlogging, so I better be a little bit stealthy. I've just put one on. Do you want the other? No, no, it's fine. Now I appreciate that um, if you have unburdened yourself of all of society's expectations for you and just live your own way, you are more likely to um, be in your mid-thirties living with your mum, unemployed, single, but um, is that a good or a bad thing? Who says so? You know, are we going around in circles here? But I think, actually, the secret is one of the most creative and relaxing things you can do is just, even if you're not tired, just lie down and take a break, take a big break from whatever you're doing. Um, and then you just, well, I wake up in about an hour, just completely different mindset. And it's like a new day. I get two days, really, from doing this. So, And whatever you're doing, Taking a break to lie down is never a bad idea. If you're a busy person or you're working on something creative, lying down in a quiet room is going to help. Okay, that's the, that's the secret, really. Just lie down more. What is this? What is that about? Hey, buying a car never felt so good. 
I've got to do part two of my drive home video and it's just I did a first cut of the edit last night and it's just a load of driving footage and it's just, it feels like work to be honest it just I've got nothing for this that's all right I'll, I'll just try and get through it and uh, do my best really so I'll just get the microphone here Okay, welcome back to part two of this Erbil to England Mega Drive. You join me in somewhere near Bolu, just outside Istanbul, and I pulled over here just to find somewhere to sleep before heading off to the Bulgarian border, which is about five and a half hours drive. So this would be my last night in Video is too slow, so um, what do I do? <laughs> um, I'll just kind of scroll forward, I guess. You join me in somewhere near Bolu, um, just outside Istanbul, for my final night in Turkey. Oh, you can't scroll forward. You can't scroll forward while you're talking. So... Um, just really annoying. It's boring. <laughs> See this is why I'm not good at work. I just have a little, I just have a meltdown and uh, can't be bothered to do it. Okay welcome back to part two. That's it for that. Oh. I put that there. So, it's just an example of some of the laughs we have around here. It's, um, new hard drive. Getting worse and worse as I push it in further and further. So. Nothing I can do with this right now. Okay, it's read the... Um, dodgy hard drive, let's try and transfer a folder to the new hard drive. Okay, it's transferring. I don't know how to keep this connected though. It's two hours for one folder. It's never going to stay connected that long. Yeah, it's already gone. over for this um, but it is nice to have something to do even if I end up just editing videos about editing videos it keeps me a little bit productive so sorry if you have to watch it but it's good it's good for me bit of a chillier day today My mum goes out for a couple of hours to see my dad and um, she's quit the channel so this is where I have to do my filming. Um, she'll be alright once once she gets out in the garden I'm sure she'll open up a bit. Um, but yeah, that's, um, that's it for today. So we've got an um, engineer coming over from British Gas to look at the faulty washing machine. Stopped spinning unfortunately and I've got no idea what the problem is so my mum's got an insurance policy so get the engineer out. Well I think they're here and looking for the place so I better go out and see them. Is that them down there? Yeah. 
Yeah, you here for the washing yeah. machine? Yeah. Just head down the end. All right, chaps. Okay, we'll have shoes on in there. Yeah, no worries. Do you like to wear uh, face masks? No worries in here, yeah. Come up with an error code, just uh, not a code, just error on there. But it hasn't, we haven't got it spinning like this, so. And it's quite embarrassing, just. It just seems to be working now. We never had it spinning like that. Oh yeah. Did it come together? Yeah. Uh -huh. Seems to be working okay. What, right from the glass camera? Yeah, they just turned it on and it just started. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Looked like a right idiot. I said to it yesterday. Yeah, okay, well at least you tried it as well. Oh, so. So I've tried it on spoon, I've tried it on synthetic. But you didn't give it you didn't give it the chance to start. It's it buzzed like that and then it yeah, after so kind of thirty seconds. Out the level of the water. Yeah, oh. Even though you can't see any water in there, yeah. you still got about a litre and a half in there. Oh I see. Uh, and it's right underneath the metal drum there. So the drain pump and the air pressure switch that we yeah. is just about air pressure that's in there. Yeah. So it works out how much we Houses are so boring. Never get this on the road. There's always something. Well, that was quite intense, but um, just off for a run now. Nice day, get out of the house. The common's still a bit wet for running, so I'm just going to stick to the roads. If you are a renegade outlaw, international man of mystery, who only plays by his own rules, you are more likely to be at home in the day playing computer games. It's just, that's just statistics. But um, because maybe you realise that um, there's no such thing as, you know, worthwhile or not worthwhile, it's all just abstract concepts isn't it? it doesn't really that's one of the ironies of life really the people that say get back to reality um live in completely abstract realms you know money jobs projects plans commitments they're all human abstractions it's all made up so um 
the reality is the earth and the air and the trees. So get back to reality, you know. This is just as worthwhile as anything, really. And as long as my mum doesn't bother me, it's fine. Plus this game is good. I'm going to need to restart this because you just can't lose that much. I only get three lives, there's no there's no continues or checkpoints. So you really need to, you can't lose power on like, the first bloke you see. It's a little bit weird at times this game. Have some bombs, mate. What do you think about that, eh? Oh! Oh, God, I don't know what I've done there. Okay. I think the bomb attack is probably best on this guy. Two lives gone. Not looking good for me at all at this point. Oh, I see. Okay. Come on, surely. Oh, more. <sighs> I'm, this is trouble. This is trouble. See, I, I'm not familiar with this. This guy. You know, for all sorts of beginners' traps in this game, where if you don't know exactly what's coming, it's dead. Oh. done it. Um, th that was the first time I'd achieved that, so that's good. So you think you've beaten someone and then he just turns into something else and starts freaking out. Sat there 